It's time for a refresh. We all have that one year in architecture school where the work is downright embarrassing. And for me, that's my second year work. But today I wanted to challenge myself. I'm gonna brush up on my CAD skills and give this another shot. I know some of you might be feeling the same way and although deadlines don't really give us enough time to put care into every single drawing, there's nothing stopping you from improving your work afterwards. Okay, so I could do this entire drawing in CAD, but I really don't want to be slaving over line weight, trying to find assets and ending up with a pretty similar result. So instead, I'm going to use Ryon, which is a new piece of architecture and interior design software that claims to be faster than CAD. Let's get into it. So here is my existing drawing that I'm going to be working with. Now, this project is from my second year in architecture school. And I wasn't very confident while doing this plan. I think I had a decent amount of research and um, I think towards the end of that year, I just ran out of time to actually do any visuals and illustrations and renders and that sort of thing. So the plans are very disconnected, if you will. The whole project is basically an optician's factory as well as a retail shop. Um, and it's based in Clark and Will. I think the plans for me feel a bit disconnected because obviously Looking back on them um, now, after about five or six years, I've got a lot more understanding as to how things work and the scale of things. So for example, this the entry doors just seem really oversized for some reason. And then dotted throughout the factory, there are workspaces and benches, which again, feel a bit like they've just been plopped on. So. In order to kind of improve this whole drawing, I would love to create different zones for different areas based on the function, but also just neaten up the plan as a whole um, and make sure that it makes sense. And then overall, in terms of presentation and graphic style, again, this is a very simple um, way of presenting a plan. However, I'd love to be a bit more experimental and really get a sense of what the surrounding context is, how the sort of like visitor can come in and what their experience will be like, what this sort of like courtyard area will be used for as well. So Ryan have a really cool extensive template library that you can use as well and I thought it would be great to just look through their warehouse template as that's kind of similar to the type of drawing that I want to do as well. Um, this particular template comes with a sort of drawing sheet and then all the elements that are within that sheet and then space for you to start your own project. So I really like the fact that you can develop drawings within Ryon and you don't have to like export into another software or like save your drawing without any actual information. So essentially you could make your own drawing pack simply through Ryon. So I really like the fact that they've got things like, you know, CAD blocks, elements, you can add flooring and this plan just looks a lot sort of neater but also more readable than my version so i think i'm going to try and use this style as an inspiration to have like a first go at the drawing itself there's also a bunch of tutorials on the side to kind of show you just the basic features of ryan how you can furnish it um, some commands and also like other features where you can do a lot of sort of custom settings and then when it comes on to like using different resources and styles, you've got things like dimensions, doors, windows, like I mentioned, flooring and zones. Um, they also have textiles and a way for you to kind of annotate your drawings as well. And then there's kind of, you know, really essential, but I think something that a lot of people miss out on is the drawing information. Um, so things like this that are kind of crucial to, I guess, showing details about the drawing as well and just making it obvious like where your north is and, and stuff like that. And then all of the CAD blocks that I think I could possibly need are here. They've also included like parking spaces too. So I think it's gonna be really, really quick and simple and probably a lot faster than CAD. So I'm gonna have a go at creating my drawing in Ryan. Okay, now's the hard part. I'm gonna start working on this drawing and give you a little time lapse so you don't have to watch me go through all of it. 
So I've imported my PDF and you can actually set a scale. So if you already have a scaled up drawing in your CAD file or even as a PDF, you can basically set your scale with a scale bar. And I think that is such a handy feature because it saves me a lot of time from manually rescaling inside the drawing. Now before I show you the final drawing, I wanted to tell you a bit more about Ryan and my honest experiences using it. I think it's a great tool that you can use when you're crunched on time and need to whip up some drawings in a rush. It's also really useful for people who might just need a stylized version of their plans and sections and elevations and you can customize so many different things from the flooring to the color of the lines and the line weights and so on. If you're working on group projects, it can also be a really cool way to just keep track of all your drawings without having to share files amongst you. I'm definitely keen to do more glow ups like this and really just experiment with Ryan's features. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see more of. Now on to the final reveal.